Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.3 Beta 4. This is out now for developers and public beta testers. Now, on my iPhone 10, it came in at 381 megabytes. For some people, I've heard that it came in closer to 400 megabytes. And then also, I was on a couple previous betas back, and on my iPhone 7 Plus, it was a couple gigabytes. So I guess it just depends which one you're on, but I try to update the older devices, and I'm going to update this one so I can give you an idea of what the speed might be like and things like that in a future update. Let's take a look at the build number. The build is 15E5201E, and that build number gives me an idea that this is probably not the final gold master version before the public release. Some people seem to think that 11.3 is coming out really quickly. And I would say we're all about a month out, but that's my opinion based on previous experience with this. Now, this particular version doesn't have airplay too. So when you're airplaying to a device, you've got the little airplaying ability, but when you're airplaying, airplay two that brings abilities such as stereo pairing to the home pod is not yet there. So maybe it's going to be in a future beta. Hopefully they're not delaying it, but it's not in this build. One thing that they did change that's in this build is books is now iBooks. So if you previously saw this, it just said books. I thought maybe they'd change the name to a lot of different apps such as video books instead of movie, iMovie, things like that. But the name iBooks is back. Whether or not that will stay, it, it, it's hard to know at this point. This beta does also work on iPod Touch. So the previous beta, beta 3 and beta 4, work on iPod Touch 6th generation, but it didn't work with beta 2 for some reason. And then also one of the things they've fixed with this beta is devices are recognized properly. So maybe you had a previous beta, you plugged it into iTunes, and it wouldn't recognize this one recognizes properly again. That's one of the fixes. They've also fixed an issue with health records now syncing properly to health and iCloud. And they've also resolved issues with iMessages, maps, and more with some bugs and things like that. So basically this is a bug fix. And one of the things I did notice that changed was when I opened the app store for the first time, this is the screen I got. So it said, welcome to the app store. It talks about privacy and this popped up the first time I opened it. Also, iClouds for Books popped up when I opened iBooks this time. I know this was there before, but it seemed to have not popped up for me, and here it is. Now, one of the other things, too, is I did a Geekbench on this just to see what, what it is and how it compares. So let's take a look at that. So if we look at the history, we'll go in and take a look at the CPU history I ran this afternoon, and you'll see here we have benchmark scores of 4,216 for the single core, 10,325 for the multi-core score. If you look at the previous ones, it's just about the same, maybe a little bit faster. So I would expect similar speeds. I haven't used it enough to tell you if it's really fast or not. And battery life, I'll be talking about in a few days when I do a follow-up video. I'll also talk about the battery life on the 7 Plus, And of course, I'll send out as a survey or a poll on YouTube and Twitter to see how it's been for you before I post that video. And of course, just to kind of get a better idea of all the different devices and see how good they are. If you want to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.